everyone. Today I'm going to be talking about the movie Mary and the Witch's Flower. So stay tuned. So our story is about a young girl named Mary Smith. She moved in to her great aunt's house. So while staying, she was wandering into the forest and she discovered the a flower that only blooms once every seven years called fly by night that gives her magical witch's powers for only a few hours. She discovered a old broomstick when she was squashed one of the flowers into her palms. The broomstick came to life, whisked Mary up far away in above the clouds into Endo College, a school of witchcraft. And there she has discovered that there is something terrible is going on and she must face it. So this film was created by Studio Panico. The founder was a former Studio Ghibli producer, Yoshiaki Nishimura. And it will be directed by Inyana Bayashi, who has been known for directing a few films from Studio Ghibli. And they also have more employees, animators from Studio Ghibli, moving to Studio, Studio Panago since Hayao Miyazaki has decided to take his retirement. So I kind of see this as a Studio Ghibli 2.0, but called Studio Panago. And also, this is based on the book The Little Broomstick by Mary Stewart. I haven't read the book, so I don't know how it is or oh, faithful to the film or whatever, so I'll probably have to check it out if I ever get the chance to. Okay, so I want to say that this is a good film, but I wouldn't say great compared to Studio Ghibli's films with me, Hayao Miyazaki. I feel like this probably does not enough world building and I feel like this should be, you know, more backstories, characters, a little bit flat. I mean, there's not much to say about the characters. Yeah, like I said, I feel like there's plenty of like backstories missing with this and but it's, even though the story's not, I say, eh, so eh, but the animation is so beautiful. It's definitely worth the watch. I kind of want to talk a little bit about our main character, Mary Smith. I really like her character design. This cute little red-headed girl that's a little bit messy too. I think she's adorable. Uh, Personality-wise, she seems to be clumsy, kind of hot-tempered, but she's like a really kind girl. She really won't leave anyone behind when they're in danger. Um, there's another character, the boy Peter, but there's nothing much to say that he's just the boy character. There's her great aunt, Coletta, I'm not sure, or Charlotte, eh, I'm not sure how to say her great aunt's name. And I feel like with her character, there's not enough info from her. When she's trying to give you the backstory, it's just, I don't know, I still left a bit confused on how this world building works, like with the rules with magic and stuff. Don't feel like it's explained very well. I think most of the time when me and my friend were watching this, we were just making jokes about the cat. That's right, we made so many just random jokes about that one black cat that's always with her. That is just a fabulous little feline. It's just making jokes how sassy it is. Even though it's just stares at Mario, just there to hang out, whatever. 
though the story isn't great compared to Hayao Miyazaki's work, it is still a good film. Definitely worth checking it out. I definitely want to support Studio Panico. They still have some things to do to work out, you know, making better storylines. Um, but the animation is great. They have, they all have worked in Studio Ghibli, and is, I think they're gonna do great, in my opinion. And I hope they do make more films. Oh, they probably definitely would make more films, but I hope they get better each time making them. Because you'll be amazed how beautiful the animation is. It does kind of remind you of older studio film Ghibli's. I got reminded of um, Howl's Moving Castle, Kiki's Delivery Service, but bitches and riding on broomsticks and having black hats is pretty much a trope for any fantasy story. Um, what else film reminds me of uh, Ponyo because the girl's red hair, just like the dad, the alchemist dad from the movie from Ponyo, like it just freaking said. Okay, and it also reminds me of Harry Potter a bit. At the end of talking about school of witchcraft or whatever, I was like, oh, it's going to that direction. But I think I'm not 100% sure that the book is a little bit made before Harry Potter and I heard as well that are other books about school witches and witchcraft even some that are kind of similar to Harry Potter so I think some are possibly inspirations for it I'm not sure about this but I'll try to check it out and maybe talk about it if I want to I checked this out on Netflix, so it's out on Netflix. If you have that, and you could definitely watch it. I forgot to say that one with the story again. <laughs> I'm having problem issues with the story. It's good, okay? It is good, but it's just, I feel like there's a lot of gaps in it. There are so many times I question a lot of it. It's yeah, it's just so many questions because there's not enough backstories, it's not a w enough world building set of rules, you know, with this fantasy story. But I do like that fantasy like story. And I'm not sure how long it's been seeing a fantasy story, but we definitely need more of those. It's Don't know what to say, I would just repeat myself over again. So, well, I'm gonna move this. This is like my notes right here. And you have be wasted your time watching me throw my notebook on the ground. Which, why did I do that? I could have just put it on my bed that's like right here. You could <laughs> see that. Should definitely work on setting up a background and stuff, but okay. So, if you've seen the movie, comment your thoughts. I guess I would end this. I feel like it's just like one of my old videos that I want to talk more about it, but I can't. I'm a little bit tired. So, bye. See you next time if you ever want to check me out. My filming schedule is not the best, but I do like making these videos and I like talking in front of the camera to whoever is listening. So I hope you like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff, and I'll try to do my best with this video, or at least try to do at least some better job editing with this. Okay, again, bye.
I've learned so much.